As with any new place that you go to, you probably should be concerned a little bit about what the environment is like. We usually take this for granted, but when you go to a new locale, you may be facing, just like the early explorers and astronauts, pathogens or elements of the environment which will cause you to have allergic reactions. Since coming to Japan, I've had a lot of these things, which may not actually be specific to Japan, but they certainly were specific to where I was traveling, and perhaps to the house I live in. I have a tatami room, which is notoriously um, famous for collecting dust, such so, or to the extent that Japanese people, young people, don't want to live in tatami rooms, and when they see that somebody does, they think, oh, grandfather, grandmother. Uh, a lot of people coming to Japan want something old-fashioned like this, and a lot of people don't. I'm becoming part of the don't group now. Um, I won't bother to try to show you with mirrors, but I've had these bites on the back of my neck, which have bothered me for months. Uh, they invariably ooze like a white liquid. Sorry for the TMI, but it just looks like water. And so co-workers uh, had told me that it looks like... Um, if it wasn't in fact caused by a pest um, that it could have been something like a bed bug um, but I don't sleep in a bed I sleep in tatami which I hang out in the Sun and I don't think anything could live on those but friends have told me check your pillows check check the seams in your bedding um, it's been so hot another factor in our uh, comfort and health that I've been sleeping on just the slat board support for the tatami with this pink puffy soft and cool uh, Comforter on top of it and the air mattress underneath some other issues you may notice um, My left eye is extremely puffy because Japan is known for causing extreme allergic reactions Even in its own people which has to do with the trees that they planted after the war um, I'm always touching my eyes and uh for maybe the third and fourth time in my life, I've had styes. Maybe I had one in all of my adult life in Korea and the United States. And here I've had at least two. And um, I don't think this is puffiness due to age. I think that um, I caused a sty. And it's actually gotten better since I decided to make this video. Isn't that funny? This is what sparked me to want to make this video. I was in the kitchen and I was looking in the mirrors by the sink. And I thought, you know, boy, my eye looks terrible. Um, another thing you want to look for when you're in another country is, especially in a place like Japan where people are rubbing up against each other constantly in crowded subway trains, what is the skin health of the people? I've noticed a lot of sores on people, and I saw that sometimes in Korea, so I thought, well, maybe it's because the people live their lives on the floor to some degree, and so they're in contact with dust, dust mites, and bacteria, and other things. I try to vacuum at least once a week, and I'm realizing maybe I should do it every two days. Um, cleaning down surfaces that's another issue I um, I looked at the side of some furniture like the side of this in my office up here uh, a surface that I probably don't really have any contact with very often right like over here and I found mold um, Korea too is a big mold trap Japan is famous for it I have to scrub the bathroom tiles at least once a week after showering um, or during shower because you can see a shadow on everything. This is another reason I call this place Juran, Jurassic Japan, not Japan. So um, when you're traveling, think about your hygiene. Think about what you're coming into contact with. Think about the temperature and how it will affect you. Think about your bedding. Think about the air. I had to take this apart the other day and clean it out. It hadn't been cleaned in years, right? I have asthma. Not a good idea to be living in an environment where you need this all the time because it's so blazing hot. Well, you'll soon discover in Japan, if you're not up in Hokkaido, that you're usually in train stations. You're usually in shopping malls. Usually the train station is the shopping mall. You're in piped in air all the time. In the office or the school, you're in piped in air. In your house, you have to be in piped in air unless you want to open these glorious windows and get eaten by mosquitoes and bugs. So, it's been a challenge, you know. 
This alone was something I wanted to say to my boss when he was having issues with some ridiculous things that people at my job were mentioning, which wouldn't amount to a hell of beans or a hill of beans anywhere else. You know, hey, it's been difficult living here. Would you cut me a break? I'm getting used to this place. I feel like an astronaut, you know. Uh, what else can I tell you? That's about it. Just really pay attention to your hygiene when you go to another country. And I'm one of the least traveled people out there, so you probably already know this, but I just wanted to share. Have a nice day. Thinking of New York.